going rogue once again Better get the plans ready yeah. My hand steady on the trigger You may fire when ready I bet out on the mic Smiling at the chaos This force is with me Give me one day I'll yeah. come back like yeah. a schizophrenic yeah. Imperial soldier What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to another Rage Quit video. Today we are talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2 again. The update just came out for the instant action in the co-op and the uh, Republic Commando in Felucia as a map. And don't get me wrong, the update was probably the best update that we've had in Star Wars Battlefront 2 thus far. It had so much content and it gave PvE, uh, people who want to play offline, a chance to actually experience the game in its full form. And I really appreciate that. The devs have gone above and beyond for this game, and I can't even imagine uh, that they'll keep continuing this game even two years from now. I honestly can't imagine that, but they decide to surprise us every single time. But today what we're going to be talking about is going to be the five things that I would like to add on to instant action. Yes, I think co-op mode is absolutely brilliant. I love playing it and I never get bored with it. I mean, there's a couple things that I would change, but I mean, honestly, it is such a great mode and it is one of my favorites so far if you wanted to just buckle down and play only Clone Wars content for the time being. But instant action leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest, because of the simple fact that it feels very, like I said in the last video, bare bones and very limited. So I'm going to go over the five things that I want to add on, whether they be features or gameplay mechanics or just things in general that needed to be fixed about it. So let's get started. All right, so the first change that I want to see come to instant action in particular is the addition of AI bots. Don't get me wrong, the large expansive battles are exactly what I wanted, but to be honest, with an 11v11 team, it doesn't really feel that much different from arcade mode, which is only 10v10. And I often feel like uh, when I'm roaming the battlefield, as I said in the last video, I can't really see my partners a whole lot. My AI team units aren't really around a lot. They seem to get swarmed and they die very, very quickly. And I think it has everything to do with the fact that there's just not a whole lot of them. Even when I jump into the game and the cutscene rolls, uh, showing me all the clone troopers rushing or the battle droids rushing ahead of me, uh, I don't really see a whole lot of them. And little blue blips are on the screen, and they pop up showing me uh, how many teams are there are and where they are, and I don't see a whole lot of them. So I feel like if there were a, a little bit more uh, AI bots, uh, especially in this mode, uh, it would actually make the battle seem a lot larger. I know in the original Battlefronts we only had 15 versus 15, but it felt a little bigger because of the fact that the maps were relatively smaller and these maps are very expansive. They have a lot of ground to cover and I just feel like we need a couple more bots and I mean considering that there's no uh, real players on except for yourself, it wouldn't be too much of an issue. Just simply add a couple more bots and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, the second change that I want to see come to instant action and co-op mode now that I think of it is the addition of AI tanks and maybe some starfighters, some vehicles. Yes, I know that the devs are currently working on a way to put the tanks into Star Wars Battlefront 2's instant action and co-op separately, uh, but they weren't really ready for the mode's release and I think maybe there were a couple of bugs. And the same thing actually goes for some of the heroes. Uh, they were bugged out and they were glitched out as well as the commando, uh, Republic Commando and the Droidica. They don't really spawn in the game, and that is simply because they just couldn't figure it out uh, in time, and they didn't want to release it to be buggy, and I do appreciate that, but I feel like it needs some tanks, and it definitely needs some starfighters. I get it, in Capital Supremacy, we don't have starfighters because it would just be so annoying to just bomb run entire command posts and wipe out whole squads. Yeah, that gets a little annoying, but what the original Battlefronts had, especially the first one in 2005, the charm that it had was having an on-the-ground battle, having tanks, and looking up in the sky and seeing starfighters fight around the entire skies. And especially in co-op mode, I know that you can exploit this very much in the attacking phase. On every single map, you can hop in a tank and just clean house on all the heroes, all the bots, all the reinforcements without any resistance. I mean, sometimes the bots will spawn and they'll swarm you and you'll lose half health, but you could always just retreat and get your health back and continue the process. I think if we had some vehicles to combat this, it would make the mode a little bit more challenging. All right, the third change that I definitely would like to see come to the game is the inclusion of uh, teammate heroes and I understand maybe if you don't want to include the option to have another hero on your team because maybe it'll take the hero that you want but maybe it could be like a, a first dibs thing like as soon as you pick a certain hero your AI uh, teammate one random AI teammate would just jump back to the lobby 
and uh, turn into a hero, or maybe just have 1v1 heroes, or map-specific heroes, I don't know, something, to make it so that you're not one hero fighting two heroes at the same time. Alright, now the fourth change that I would like to see to instant action is kind of a controversial one because I know a lot of people are sick of the original trilogy, sick of the sequel trilogy, but another half of the community is also kind of sick of the Clone Wars. They've been harping on it for a real long time now, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely appreciate this to the fullest extent because I grew up with the Clone Wars, I love the Clone Wars, it is probably hands down my favorite, uh, trilogy in Star Wars, but let's be real here, the fact that now we can change and uh, customize and pick whatever map we want in instant action, and we do have co-op mode which is completely Clone Wars right now, why not include the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy just for old time's sake, for the people that really love the uh, PvE aspect of this game and want to play offline, but also want to play as a Stormtrooper or a Rebel or a Kylo Ren. Ray, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, I mean hell, I would like to, and I definitely think that this is a possible option considering that a lot of questions have been asked about this before and the devs seem pretty optimistic about this, but uh, that would probably mean that they would have to develop some different maps to suit that because Capital Supremacy and Instant Action go in hand in hand, and as of right now we don't have any uh, uh, Capital Supremacy maps for the original trilogy. But enough about that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final change that I would personally like in the instant action and co-op. This applies for both of them, and this does have something to do with Clone Wars because, as you guys can see, every single time you load into a game, your clone troopers and your battle droids are the vanilla uh, skin for these characters. The clone troopers are the phase one shinies and the battle droids are just the same old battle droids and I really don't mind the battle droids to be honest but the clone troopers man it really breaks my immersion when I load in to Kashyyyk or Felucia and all I see are the phase one shinies oh my god I don't know why it bothers me so much but I know that the devs have been talking about this very uh, heavily the fact that we should be able to customize our characters and change what they look like and the devs have stated that there is a possibility that in the future we can change our characters and make them look uh, planet specific. But guys, uh, just think about it. The devs worked so hard on making the skins for the clone troopers and they redid them even to make them more canon accurate. Why not use them in instant action? And I definitely feel like to increase the immersion we need some canon accurate uh, skins for the clone troopers. And uh, that's pretty much it guys. Those are all the changes that I would like to see come to instant action and co-op alike. If you guys agree with my opinions, make sure you like this video and you uh, make that thumbs up blue, it really helps. But of course, if you guys did disagree with any of the points that I have made during this video, make sure you don't go down into the comments below and say why you disagree and what changes you personally make to this game. But guys, I'm Shadow Ninja, and you've just watched a Star Wars Battlefront video about the top 5 changes I would make to instant action and co-op. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will see you on the next one.